Well everybody, iPadOS 18 Beta 2 just released to all developers, and in this video, we're not gonna go over the entire update, but we're gonna go over one main feature, demo it, see exactly how it works, and give you guys a step-by-step -step guide as to how to actually use this brand new kind of screen sharing, take control over share play feature that we're getting with all new iOS, iPadOS, and macOS devices come September or October, whenever Apple decides to release it. So without further ado, let's get right into this demo because I'm honestly relatively impressed. Let's get into it. Well, all right, everybody, let's get right into this demo and talk about what share screen and share play and kind of this share screen control is gonna look like once you do get onto iOS 18 and iPadOS 18. So I just installed the beta two versions on both of my devices. And just to reiterate, you're gonna to need to have a device that's running iOS 18 or iPadOS 18. And for this beta situation, it's gotta be at least beta two or newer. And then obviously you're gonna to have to be running macOS Sequoia for this to work on your macOS device as well. But basically what Apple's implementing is a new way to share your screen, which we have been able to do in the past, but now you can actually share your screen and then have somebody control the screen. And then even before that, you can actually annotate with either your finger or an Apple Pencil. So we're gonna open up a FaceTime and show you guys exactly what it looks like. So I have a FaceTime here ready to go. We're gonna mute each other so we're not making that weird noise. We're gonna press join. So as you can see, I'm using FaceTime on both of the devices. And what we're gonna see here is we're gonna press the share button. So this share button has been around already. You've been able to use share play to be able to watch content together at the same time and the same frequency. But if I press share my screen here, then you're gonna see a prompt show up on the other side over here. So, so you can see that something popped up here and now you can see that I have an iPhone screen just floating around. And in order to see what's going on here, because right now it is blurred out, in order to get this to work, you swipe away. And now you can see that I have the iPhone screen of my iPhone over here, but on my iPad. And if I tap on it here, then it opens up completely. And it also works the same way any other picture in picture viewing would work. So if I double tap on here, it's gonna make it smaller. If I double tap again, it's gonna make it bigger. If I single tap, it's gonna take over my entire screen. Now step one of what this is gonna look like in terms of being able to interact with this screen. So right now I do not have control of the iPhone on my iPad, but I'm able to annotate and I'm gonna show you how to do that. First and foremost, you can just use your finger. So if I wanna point on this, like be able to circle this, you can see that it's showing up in real time on the iPhone and then it kind of like disintegrates away, which is cool to see. And now if I wanna, let's say, open up Safari, you can see that I've opened up Safari on my iPhone and I can see Safari on here. And I'm gonna be like, oh, let's click here, right? Make an arrow if I want to, you can do that. And then you can see that it's gonna also go away over time and then I can click on whatever that person is annotating. The next option you have on here is going to be this magnifier over here, which is just gonna make it so it takes up the entire screen. This is gonna look a little bit better if you actually FaceTime between two iPads or FaceTime with Mac OS and an iPad, because obviously the iPhone screen isn't gonna take up the entire space. But then if I rotate it to show it to me like this, then it does actually take up a little bit more space and I'm able to scroll through here and it's gonna scroll in real time, which it should. So as I scroll through, it'll scroll and depending on, again, we're on a beta version, so it's not the absolute best right now, but the beta version does lag a little bit. I don't think it's gonna lag when it fully works because when it is working, it does work nicely. But again, you can annotate and it'll show up eventually on that side and I can circle stuff and I can you know, maybe make a shape like a star or a square. And then it all stays there until you're done actually annotating and then it goes away. So that is the annotation feature that is brand new to iPadOS and iOS 18. And again, I wanna keep letting people know that we are on a beta. Like right now, my iPhone 15 Pro Max is extremely warm to the touch. So install these at your own risk, please. Again, these are just demos. I'm showing you guys exactly what it's gonna look like when it does finally release. And again, it is working relatively well. There are some bugs that are still happening, but I do wanna show you what it looks like if I actually take over the iPhone. So let's say, you know, you wanna show somebody how to do something on their iPhone, I swipe up. There's another button up here, which is a takeover button. So if I tap that, it's gonna ask you if you can actually do remote control. I'm gonna press allow on this one, and then you can see that it zooms out. And what's cool about this is that you can actually both interact with the device. So it says remote control is active on the bottom here. So again, if I'm swiping on the iPhone here, you can see that it is moving pretty much in real time. There's a little bit of a lag, but nothing too crazy. And it does show you on the bottom here that you are controlling it. So the person on the iPhone is the one in control right now. So you give it a second to pause. Now the remote control is active. Now I can go in here and from the iPad control the iPhone. And what's funny is that it almost seems like it's moving faster on the iPhone than it is on the iPad. Like the lag is still there a little bit, but it's still coming onto the iPad, which is very, very interesting. So again, if I'm swiping around, you can do that. And what's cool about this is that I can tap in on Safari, I can scroll through, 
And then when it comes to actually typing something out, so let's say if I want to go to a different website, then the virtual keyboard comes up. So if I want to type in ESPN, I'm using the virtual keyboard of the iPhone, which is kind of interesting. And then I have been getting mixed reports. Like for me, for instance, if I have this on the Magic Keyboard, the Magic Keyboard will not be able to type on the iPhone itself and vice versa. Depending on who you are, I'm sure Apple will eventually change this and make this so it's a lot easier so I can use your Magic Keyboard or can use your regular keyboard on Mac OS. But for my instance and my version of this beta, it is not working. Let me know with a comment down below if you have been able to get it to work where you are using your keyboard on your iPad to control the keyboard input on the iPhone or vice versa. So let me know with a comment down below what you see. And then another thing that I'm going to say is that when you are under this control situation, the annotation is turned off. You cannot do it. You cannot use it. It doesn't work with your finger. It doesn't work with the Apple Pencil at all. So keep that in mind. If you are annotating, it only works in, again, that annotation mode that we saw earlier. And then to stop, you just press stop on this side. It's going to stop sharing it. You're still going to be able to view what's going on. And then I can grab the Apple Pencil and actually annotate it again, as you can see here. Make a circle with a smiley face. You know, let's go Panthers. And then again, it'll just go away on its own. But that is a demo of what the remote control is going to look like, how it's going to work. I think it's going to be very beneficial to a lot of people. And it's just a good addition to the ecosystem, to FaceTime, to mirroring, to kind of share play and all that good stuff. And then to end the whole call, all you do is you tap on here. You press this right here and then you're back to a normal FaceTime and you can exit it and you are good to go. So that is this new SharePlay demo. Let me know what you guys think with a comment down below. So that will do it for this video, everybody. Like you saw on the surface level, it's very impressive what can be done. This is definitely gonna be maybe a little bit annoying for the people like myself, who's basically like your family's geek squad. And now people can just FaceTime you and ask you to basically do stuff for them on their device. So, you know, it's a blessing and a curse, but I'm very happy that Apple brought this as a native feature. You don't have to go through any other third parties to do this because Taking over a screen has been around for years now at this point, but being able to not do it, especially on the iDevice level, so on iPhone and iPad, I think is a big deal for even little things like getting on the right Wi-Fi and getting people set up correctly and things like that. So overall, I'm very happy with this feature. Like I mentioned, this is still in beta two and this is the first round of this being released. So there's still a decent amount of kinks to be ironed out. Like sometimes it works. I needed to restart my iPad a couple of times for it to really fully work. The screen takeover isn't fully there yet. It, there's still some aspects missing, virtual keyboard stuff. So overall, definitely some room for improvement, but I like what Apple's doing with this brand new feature. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys made it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know you made it to the end. And also let me know with a comment, is this something you see yourself using moving forward as either the person kind of taking over a screen or as somebody kind of getting help from somebody taking over a screen? Let me know in the comment down below. But if you guys like this video, YouTube thinks that you're gonna like this video as well. So definitely click on that one. And until next time, I'm Fernando and I'm out of everybody. Peace.